Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal Web Designers. 40th episode of the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. Crazy, huh? Hopefully we'll have lots and lots more to come. On this week's episode, we're going to talk about the fairly new Display Suite module. This is an awesome module, I'm finding out. It's it's sort of in its, in its beginning phases, uh, in my opinion. I think it's got a little ways to go, but it is powerful. It is beautiful. It is designed like Drupal modules should be. Uh, loving Display Suite. Basically, what Display Suite does is think of it like uh, sort of like a template module, uh, which allows you to, to lay out nodes, uh, you know, sort of organize your node fields, do custom layouts, uh, or the templating system, which is what uh, we've always been in a favor in favor of. Uh, things like the node-story.tpl.php or node-page.tpl.php. It's sort of moving away from templating uh, your nodes using the templating system into more of a user interface UI kind of situation to lay out your nodes. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. I am right in between. Uh, I like it and I think it's got some power. The beauty of Display Suite is it doesn't really replace the templating system. It allows you to uh, work with the templating system uh, to do your node layouts. Uh, it's also sort of could be seen as a replacement for panels in some ways uh, because it allows you to do column layouts in your nodes, which is what a lot of people want to do. Lots of possibilities. Today we're going to look into it, uh, see what it does, and uh, it, 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 it does so much that we'll never be able to cover it all, but I'm going to do my best. So let's dive right into Display Suite module. Drupal.org slash project slash DS is where you're going to find it. I love the project uh, URLs for all the Display Suite modules. Uh, they're very short and to the point. Uh, Display Suite itself is actually just an API. It doesn't do anything on its own. So if you uh, install just Display Suite, you're going to get confused. What you have to do is install a bunch of these modules right here uh, to implement Display Suite. And the modules, uh, I just installed basically all of them at this point. Uh, node displays is the key one. This will allow you to lay out your nodes. Node displays contrib uh, allows you to use CCK uh, and Five Star and Ubercart. You're definitely going to want to install these, uh, if nothing else, for CCK usage. Comment displays. So this is where we get really uh, sort of beyond node theming, beyond uh, can template module sort of is we can now lay out our comments using Display Suite. User displays uh, we can lay out uh, user pages. Views displays, so we can have individual layouts for our views. This is very cool. Uh, and then there's some other ones. There's Heartbeat Display, if you use Heartbeat Module. Uh, but all of these modules, just download them and install them, uh, and we'll be on our way. So if you look under Display Suite for our modules page, you've got all of these. I've just enabled a bunch of them. Uh, so once you enable those, you're going to get a menu item at the top uh, if you're using admin menu, our administration menu. Uh, and we're going to go through all of this stuff. Uh, but what I want to show you real quick is just that we've got our two stock uh, content types, node and page. I've used develop module to just generate a bunch of content. And we're going to work with some of these. So I'm going to go to a page content type. And we're going to mess with this layout a little bit. But the first thing I'm going to do is go over some of these other menu items. Let me go to display suite. Uh, the page and it, uh, it's funny because display suite don't get confused a lot of the sort of the home pages for these different sections are just links to more internal pages they're more like portals uh, so if we go to let's say the tools section of display suite this is import export stuff this is very cool uh, similar to views import export or image cache uh, or some other things that can import and export settings uh, so that's just under the tools I'm gonna guess that more stuff's gonna be there in the future and then we have, uh, if you look at our menu, we have comment displays, node displays, user displays, and views displays. Now these are settings or configurations for these different types of displays. Uh, so if we go into each of them, what you can see is they, uh, again, you have this portal. These are good to read though on these portal pages because they give you some more information, especially once you get into nodes and stuff. Um, I don't use this stuff a lot, but what you can do uh, is you can actually add your own custom fields. This would be sort of like adding a custom CCK field or something like that uh, to your different displays. So you can put in your field code, uh, title, and a key, and that'll actually be added uh, to something that you can move around and display 
in your different displays. You can also add block fields, so you can choose, um, you know, what to render. You can choose a block and then, you know, how to render it, and you can add that to your displays. That's very cool. I haven't used either of these two yet, the field code or the block code, so hopefully that's right, but they look extremely powerful, and I'm going to dive into them for sure. Then you have build modes. We're going to talk more about build modes in a second. These are awesome. So you know that when you uh, normally when you you build your content, you have teasers, you have full nodes, um, you have maybe RSS, you have search displays. This allows you to customize and add your own build modes. So you could say you could just make up a name for your build mode and then organize your content in that build mode in a specific way and then reuse that. This is especially powerful in views. Views can take these build modes. And you can say, in this view, don't display the teaser or the full node. Display my custom build node uh, or build mode, which uh, can be laid out any way I want. And you'll see more about that uh, in a second. There are also plugins that you can use. I haven't messed with these yet, uh, but it's cool. It uh, seems that uh, you can override CSS uh, very simply here uh, and some other stuff. So each one, of these, uh, each one of these settings in this menu are basically the same thing. Now, as I said, read this page. Uh, this gives you a little hint to the power that you know a lot of people, When if you look over on our Facebook page, uh, I asked a question, display suite, good or bad, that it replaces some of the templating system. Some people said good, some people said bad. Uh, I say both because, uh, which, which mostly means good, I suppose, uh, that you can use display suite to use the UI to lay stuff out, but then you'll also see that you've got all of these templates that you can mess with as well. Combo, uh, which is a really, really powerful thing. So uh, you've got the same kind of thing here. You can add your fields. These are just stock fields that are going to come with it. You've got different build modes. Uh, now you can, uh, we're going to get into this matrix in a minute, but you can basically enable which, uh, which build modes the, uh, the display suite stuff is active on. So that's really good. Again, you've got your plugins. Uh, you've got search that you can deal with if you enable uh, the uh, display suite search module. Same thing for users, same thing for views, all kinds of stuff. Go through those. You can mess with these, but they're basically the same thing. Now we get into the cool part, the layout. This is sort of the contemplate, uh, sort of templating system layout stuff that we want to do. So if I just go to the layout core page, this is a good place to start. Uh, it gives you all of your different comment, page, story, user, uh, the different types of layouts. These are going to be your content types, obviously, page and story. So let's go in and affect the page full node. So I'm going to hit edit. Now you'll see that when none of this stuff is enabled, it's going to use the, uh, the standard layout that CCK would normally use. So if we look at what this is really doing, what this is, is this is a page that's replacing your content, uh, let's see, content types, edit, display fields. Uh, so if you, if you normally go to this page, you're going to see that it says the display for this content type is being managed by Display Suite. Display Suite has taken over your uh, Display Fields CCK page uh, to be able to use this. Now, if you turned off Display Suite, it would come back and you'd be fine. But if you leave, if you basically leave all of this stuff empty, then uh, it's going to use whatever this the CCK would uh, you know standard usage uh, layout stuff. But now what I can do, so you can see that I mentioned in the intro that this could replace panels a little bit. This implements a header, left, middle, right, footer uh, display layout scheme that's sort of uh, pre-set up. You could override with CSS. You can do all that stuff. Um, but this is very similar to the, the header, three column footer layout in panels. Uh, so you can say, okay, uh, let's look at our page layout. This is our standard page layout if we don't touch it. But now let's mess with it. Let's put uh, the post date in the left, in the left column, uh, the read more in the right column, along with the links. Uh, although read more, since I'm doing the full node, that's not even going to show. Um, I want to put the title maybe in the left column and the core body in the middle. So what we, we've just created a three column layout within our node where we've got left, middle, right. We can put stuff in the footer. You know, we can put foot, uh, author information in the footer, whatever. We save this. We now have a new layout for our page. So if I refresh this, you're going to see it was just that easy to move stuff around. I've got the author in the footer. I've got the title and the post date. I've got the node content. It's just as easy to go, no, you know what? Put the, uh, put the core body in the left sidebar. Uh, put the title in the header and the post date in the right sidebar, and I save it. 
refresh. It's just saved everything. Ugly because I didn't really mess with it. Uh, you're definitely gonna wanna override this stuff with CSS. Uh, so if we look in the Firebug and we look at this, it's basically creating us a three column layout. Uh, it gives us classes and IDs that we can work with, but then you have you know DS region header, DS region left, DS region right, DS region footer. So it's giving us these separate regions for display suite. So you can already see how super powerful this is uh, by just messing with these simple layouts, uh, we can move our stuff around. So this is full node. I can do the same for teaser. I can say in my teaser, show me, you know, my read more in the right side, my, you know, taxonomy in the middle, whatever you want to do. Even cooler, separate layout for sticky. Uh, so if you use the sticky functionality, you can have a different layout for your stuff that's sticky. Separate layouts for RSS. Uh, note that there's a bug that uh, some of the RSS stuff isn't working in the current version. Uh, search index, uh, so search index, search result. You can have different layouts for your search results. This is super cool, super powerful. Now let's say we go in and we say, uh, in my node displays, I'm gonna go to build modes and I'm gonna create a new build mode. So I'm gonna say um, custom teaser, I don't know. And I'll save my build mode. And so I've just created a custom build mode here. Now if I wanna go in, now I can go to um, my page and you'll see I have a new build mode here. Custom teaser by Mustard Seed. So I can go in, I can do my custom layout you know, do whatever I want to do. I'm just throwing stuff around. I have no idea if this uh, is even going to show anything. Uh, whatever. And I'm going to save it. Now, by itself, this doesn't really help us because this isn't going to display anywhere by default. But now I can use these things. I could do stuff like go to views, uh, build a new view. And then when I go to <clears throat> lay out my view, let's say I make it a page. Instead of fields, I can choose, uh, uh, you know, instead of fields or node, I now have something new called display suite. So I could choose that. And then I have my build modes, including the custom one I just created. So I could say, make a custom build mode based on this and use that layout uh, in, uh, in my display for this view. Display suite has got so many possibilities. Hopefully you can see them here. Uh, very cool UI for laying stuff out. Like I said, could replace panels. Doesn't do everything that panels does, but does a lot of really similar stuff. If you're just using panels for layout, switch to Display Suite. If you're using more advanced versions of panels, obviously it's not gonna do that stuff. But with some of the custom fields you can put in Display Suite, with some of the template overrides, it's an awesome module. Uh, this, this set of modules, to me, is gonna be very powerful going forward uh, into Drupal 7. You'll see that they've committed for a Drupal 7 release. Very cool stuff. I'm super excited about it. Using it on Mustard Seed, uh, mustardseedmedia.com, just for all of our test layouts. Uh, I wanted to test it on my site uh, to see how it worked, see if I liked it. Uh, what's really cool is on the Mustard Seed site, there is no node-custom anything. Our templates on it are super simple because we're just using Display Suite to lay out our stuff. I love it. Display Suite, go check it out, give it a try. Also, if you uh, want to follow us on Twitter or Facebook, that would be awesome. Get notified when new podcasts are coming out. You can do that at mustardseedmedia.com. In the top right corner, you'll see the two icons. Go ahead and click on those. There's also a chip and widget on the podcast pages. If you appreciate the podcast uh, and throw some dollars at it, that would be great. I just want to say I appreciate all the people that have been chipping in. You guys are awesome, uh, much more than I expected, and uh, that keeps the podcast going. It keeps encouraging me to take the time to do this, so thank you. Uh, next week, don't know what we're going to do yet. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook to give us input on what you want us to cover next week, and we will do that. In the meantime, Display Suite, go use it, and have a great week.